we see a bear, are you going to get a bear tag? Yeah. Sure. It's probably better if we buy the tag and then see the bear, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and have like a, a rifle with us so we can shoot it. Yeah. Only pistols. So today we are uh, looking for some help for Alex, and we're getting up here, and it's looking pretty nice. And I have my bear tag, but we're in Washington, so I cannot shoot one because it's for Idaho. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a lighter, a lighter pack in and pack out because there's no rifles, and we're just scouting. So just for no me. pressure, no pressure on us to shoot anything. Just find stuff, and if we're lucky, maybe we'll find some sheds. Maybe we'll find some bears, and then Alex will go get a bear tag, and we'll come back. And yeah, should be a good time. Reverse. We had a, a slide on the, the road. The road's gone. So we got to back up. So like Alex said, there was a mudslide up a little ways ahead on the road. So we can't get this beast of a truck through. So we're parking here. Going to put on the packs. And then it's only a couple miles. We're only a couple miles short from where we wanted to start the hike from so we're just tacking on a few extra miles but there's some epic like meadows clearings all in this valley and I think some of it is uh, public but there's a bunch of tr uh, forest uh, timber land so yeah but I'm a uh, I gotta help Alex park this truck so then we'll be off Just checking my Mountain Ops Ignite real quick. I got the, this is my first time trying the Hush Lemonade. And it's super good. I like it better than the Tiger's Blood. But uh, we're going to get loaded up. Chug this. And then we're taking off. What's your level of stoke? 95. <laughs> He's minusing five because the road collapsed and we have to hike farther. <laughs> yes, that's exactly why. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be 100% stoke. We'll show you the, the collapse in the road. Yeah, we'll walk right by it and I'll show you. All right, so here's the slide. We got a little caution sign up. Down she went. If you had a small car, you could probably make it through here. But this is like cracked out. I don't know what they're doing there, holding up that part of the part of the slide. But this place is epic. I think Alex is going to have a, a forest that he's going to go to and explore over and over this summer. Because there's so many places. We found some mushrooms that we stashed to pick up on the way back. So, I'm stoked. Very nice. All right. Well, uh, we got up to a oh, spring of bugs. We got up to a pretty good uh, knob up here I guess the top of this place that we could get to and it's still pretty treed but um there's a ton of openings across this whole valley 
that we can look at. And Alex just went over to check out another little point to see how well we can see into this next valley. But um, it's pretty sweet. This was a huge burn. And the plan was to go up over kind of behind me over there is a mountain called South Baldy because it's bald on the top you can have a really good viewpoint and like see a ton of stuff this is a pretty sweet place so yeah time to do some glassing mushrooms That one's crazy looking. Living. Let's go find uh, the other ones that you just set aside and pick rid of here. <laughs> this one's kind of mushy. Oh, yeah. Looks kind of cool though. Guess we'll We're gonna chill here by this sweet creek in the shade and the bugs. <laughs> Eat ourselves some lunch and then uh, keep on heading out. We did not see any animals today. But we saw a lot, a lot of places where there could be animals. And probably we just got out here too late and they're all bedded down because it's pretty hot. So, but Alex will definitely come back here. What's for lunch? Mexican. Aw, yeah. We got rice burrito bowl flavored with beef. And I got a mountain house back there that's chicken rice. Nice. Bowl. Flavored chicken. Are you doing right now? Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you pour that water on your food. Let's see if this sizzle. Mmm, get it. Hydrate yourself, food. Just add water. And then, sir, do this. What? And you documented my whole meal. Yeah. Cooking it, eating it. <laughs> By the way, this is Ryan's food. Mine's in the truck. <laughs> I forgot to bring it. <laughs> <clears throat> Sharing is caring. I just put my um, my Mountain Ops Enduro in the creek to cool off because it's not very cool. So uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Oh yeah. All right, Alex, give us the recap. Oh, oh, oh. Um, great place. Tons of uh, options to go hunt. Cool thing is like, it's a road pretty much that walks around all the, the mountainside. So you can hit either side of the mountain. We saw tons of moose tracks. We saw some elk tracks, some deer tracks. The only animals that we saw were two black rabbits. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. We're going with their called uh, timber rabbits for now because yeah. we don't know. Timber rabbits. We'll have to look them up later. Found a ton of mushrooms that we're going to look into when we get back. Fill a whole grocery bag full of mushrooms. That's pretty cool. Um, the only downside is the one place that we did set up to really like glass and look around. Um, the Forest Service was planting trees and they were just making tons of noise. So we ended up packing out. 
walking around on the other side back to the truck. But overall, great spot to come hunt later on this fall. And uh, looking forward to coming back out here. All right, time to see if this puffball mushroom is edible. Mozzarella. Oh, bingo. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. That's here. what it's supposed to look like. Awesome. You want to split it? I'll, t I'm, I'll, I'll just take half home and I'll cook it. Yeah. All right, we got some morels. Come on, focus. And we got some oysters. Oh, here's another puff ball. We should test that one. Some big old oysters. Giant oysters. Alright, sweet. We got mushrooms that are edible. And uh, gonna go in the dinner tonight.